Hello everyone, I'm Jose and welcome to My Japan Tips. The excitement is ratcheting up day by day. I am now less than 15 days away from my trip to Japan. I am so pumped up and excited. I'm still struggling to <laughs> brush up on my Japanese, what little I know. But uh, I'm really looking forward to returning to Japan, enjoying the wonderful culture, meeting some great people there as well. In this video, I would like to show you some Japanese currency. Um, while preparing for this trip, I came across some old Japanese currency that I still had from previous trips. So I'd like to give you some examples now of what Japanese yen, Japanese currency, looks like. Well, here it is, folks. Most of the Japanese currency all sprawled out on my bed. We'll begin with the coins. We'll zoom in to the left here first, and you'll see the one yen coin, which is the smallest of the coins, silver in appearance, and very, very lightweight. Next to that is the five yen coin, which is gold in appearance. The five yen coin has a hole in the center of the coin, and also has the kanji for the number five, go, written down there on the bottom. Next to the five yen coin, we have the 10 yen coin. It is a copper coin, but bigger than a US penny. Next to that is the 50 yen coin, which is silver in appearance. It is also slightly smaller than the 10 yen coin. But much like the 5 yen coin, the 50 yen coin also has that hole in the middle. And then we have the two most common Japanese coins, the 100 yen coin and the 500 yen coin. As you can see, the 100 yen coin is silver in appearance. And the 500 yen coin, the largest of the coins, is gold in appearance. And these are two of the three bills that are in the most circulation in Japan, the 1,000 yen coin, or the 1,000 yen bill, I should say, and then the 5,000 yen bill. This is a sample of what the 10,000 yen bill looks like. Thank you, public domain. Now for a little bonus, this is something else that I picked up from my trip, and this is a travel adapter for when I travel overseas. Um, it has two US style outlets in the front uh, with ground over here. It has two USB chargers, which I believe put out uh, two amps. And then over here is a micro USB charger. Now back here is where you can interchange the various different outlets. So right now we have the one for US, Canada, North America with the ground outlet here. But uh, we go over here and you'll see various different outlets for the rest of the world. So I'll give you some examples. We have uh, this type, which I believe is used in most places in Europe. I believe it's also used in South Korea. Then we have uh, this one. I believe uh, this one's used in um, Australia, New Zealand, and China. We have this one that's used in the UK and Hong Kong and we have this one which is exactly like this but without the ground portion and this plug is used in Japan. Japan basically uses a North American style plug but without the ground and the way you change between uh, outlets here is that you push on this tab you lift up this part slide it out and then slide the part you want to use in its place 
Okay, you really need to have two hands to make the switch. Obviously, I'm using one hand right now to hold the camera. But essentially, the way it works is you pull this tab, slide the outlet out, put the new one in, and then you just slide it in as so, and then the top will automatically lock over it. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, one other thing to keep in mind about the... Um, the adapter that I just showed you is that um, it does not convert voltage. So whatever you plug into it has to be compatible with whatever the local voltage is. Here in the US, I believe it's 110 volts, 60 hertz. In Japan, it's 100 volts. And then depending on what part of the country you're in, it's either 50 hertz or 60 hertz. Most electronics should be fine. All you have to do is read the label on your electronics to make sure that the voltage and hertz will match for whatever, wherever you're going to use it, basically. So that's all I wanted to show you today. Um, I'm still making preparations for uh, the trip, and once the trip happens, I hope to share lots of photos and videos with you and share my experiences in the hopes that uh, you will have an idea of what to expect uh, when traveling around Japan. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye.